Okay, so let's do Mars in the Third House today. You mean little bosses. So Mars in the Third House. What happens when Mars is in your third house in the birth horoscope? Well, what is third house? Third house is a house of your courage. Okay, it's a house that represents media, media, journalism, salesmanship, short distance travel. It represents your younger co-born and a relationship with younger co-born. Okay. Mars, on the other hand, represents that soldier, you know, that aggressive energy. Mars is pretty much energy where you put your energy in. So when Mars comes into the third house and Mars is the significator of the third house, meaning Karaka. I've done, done the video on that Karkas in Vedic Astrology. So Mars is a Karka Bhava, uh, Karka uh, of the third house. So Mars in the third house gives tremendous, tremendous courage, but it's a very selfish courage. When Mars is in the third house, this person wants to always lead, okay? Wants to always be the one to be in charge of things. This is why when Mars in the third house can produce very selfish leaders, meaning very selfish athletes. You know, like in basketball, ball hoggers. Like this person wants that last minute shot or that army general that just is very aggressive, very, you know, um, rude. And this also produces in a common world, those uh, really mean bosses those managers that you just can't stand like every day you go you're like oh my god i'm gonna have to deal with him again because they're always like give me give me numbers give me numbers give me numbers give me numbers sell 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 or i'm gonna write you up or fire you they're very aggressive they just they just want to push you to the edge <laughs> however third house mars um represents athletes because athlete athletes need that courage they need, and this is represents professional athletes because Mars aspect is on the 10th house. Okay. Uh, Mars in that uh, third house represents um, somebody who is a very aggressive salesman because third house represents salesmanship and Mars energy is now put into that. So that soldier trying to sell you something, they're very aggressive uh, people when it comes to selling. So yeah, they do good in that way. You know, these guys are very self-made people self-made businessmen self-made you know even attorneys are seen from this house uh, especially like uh, one of those uh, accusation and merger attorneys because third house also represents writing okay working with your hands as well so soldier is definitely seen from third house because it's working with your hands and Mars energy with hands what means what gun you know stabbing gangsters are seen from this house people who are into, you know, just doing all the aggressive things that Mars represents, like nature of a gangster, like nature of a somebody who's just a thug, somebody who's a looter, somebody who was a pickpocketer, because that, you know, working with your hands and that Mars energy comes into play. The reason why Mars in the third house can represent an attorney because Mars fourth aspect is on the sixth house which is the house of divorce, which is the house of litigation, which is the house of enemies. So, you know, Mars energy is there to just defeat the enemy. Like these guys are one of those co-born who always wants to take charge of their co-born, meaning their younger siblings, even sometimes older siblings as well. Like they just want to be, whenever a family vacation happens and the father puts somebody in charge, besides them, they'll get mad. They'll try to win that position to be in charge, you know, the, and this is why, yeah, it's just like, um, you can say it's like that manager from hell or that hell's kitchen, you know, that, that, that chef from hell's kitchen, your lead chef. Yeah. Most likely Mars in the third house, Mars in the third house represents, however, somebody expert in the art of weaponry because Mars a third house represents dealing with hands, working with hands, Mars energies in the hands represents working with weapon. So these guys can be martial artists of like sword artist, like a swordist, uh, fencing, sports of fencing can be seen in this. Uh, somebody who's a hunter. Hunters are represented from the third house Mars. Okay. Because hunter's energy is also in the sixth house of animals. 
sixth house so his his aspect is on the sixth house and sixth house is a representation of your animal the pet animals so hunting for animals is seen from this house um, third house can also if mars is debilitated it can definitely represent somebody who's who may be a criminal absolutely but mars debilitated mars when it looks looking at the sixth house can also represent divorce because sixth house is 12th from the seventh so it's right behind the seventh house of divorces and so aggressive mars niche mars on the sixth house can produce a uh, divorce and a marriage however Mar if mars is in good dignity fa neutral or friendly signs or excelled that means it just represents uh, a lot of courage in into the marriage meaning that no matter what happens this marriage will survive because you will have the will to keep up with your husband or keep up with your wife and just try to improve the situation so that is represented by that you guys or people who are the mars in the third house are very competitive with their father and with their teachers like if a teacher teaches them something it's like okay let's do this i want to beat this teacher at his game now like i want to compete and i want to show him that i am now the teacher so get into that competitive mode with their father fatherly figure and their teachers as well because mars is not only looking at the seventh house but the from his eighth aspect is looking at the tenth house so from seventh aspect is looking at the ninth house of teachers and in the from the eighth aspect looking at the tenth house of career and father so competition in career they will they want to annihilate everybody to get to that lead top spot and so this this position can actually uh makes make a personal life challenging why challenging because soldiers mission in life is to face a challenge face his enemy defeat the enemy and then call himself victorious so these people always always face some of the most hardest challenges in order for them to come up into the idea of a leadership role okay when these people write because third house represents writing as well when they write they write very technical language like somebody who's a, a it writer a lawyer a law writing of law because it's looking at the seven ninth house of law and religion very aggressive type of a writing very um you can say violent writing but it's it's very technical and very aggressive writing okay and if these guys were to write a novel they would love writing novels about wars about like jr token lord of the rings about war so he was able to write war and he has mars in the third house third house also you know represents journalism so these are the journalists who will go in the heart of matter and try to get the story like that guy who from nbc did the interview with osama bin laden went into his cave went into you know the into the heart of terrorism and did that interview like these are the people who are while the bomb is blowing like literally 100 feet in the back and they're doing their stories with the mic in front of the camera oh my god we're in this war zone and everything's going to shit blah, blah, blah. so these guys are always the want to be in the action want to be the most aggressive journalist out there okay so guys this was my analysis on mars in the third house if you're new to my channel subscribe above and if you want to know more about astrology and your career and everything like that check out my link below check out my articles there and my book astrology at the speed of light otherwise i will see you tomorrow with my q a answers bye bye